Google indexing issues. Oh my goodness, I have had my fair share in the last couple of years. And I think I may have avoided a disaster on my mega website that could have impacted my articles being indexed. So today's video, I'm gonna share a little bit of my journey of what's happened. So let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to my channel again. So today's video I'm going to just share a little interesting story about something that's happened on my mega website. But before I do, I just want to announce a new feature that I'm going to be doing. At the end of each video, I'm going to do a YouTube channel shout out. There are so many new YouTube channels out there that I am loving at the moment, all around websites and building passive income online. And I really want to support those channels. I know how hard it is in the very beginning to get a channel off the ground, and I think they deserve a little support. So stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll do one YouTube channel shout out in every video. But for now, what has happened with my mega website? Well, if you're new to the channel, let me explain. The mega website is a big project that I've got. It's basically taking all my years of experience, all my knowledge, and putting my team that I've built behind one big website where we aim to put a million word count on the website each year for four years. So it will have thousands of pieces of content on there and it will have millions of words. So we hope to rank for a very broad niche. Now I've not revealed the niche yet, I may do in the future, but at the moment such a large investment into that website it would be silly for me to announce the niche that I'm in just in case I get any extra competition that I don't want. But believe me, the website is really well structured and there are a lot of silo structures and categories on the website. So Google should not have any issue indexing my articles and actually knowing what the keywords are that I'm trying to rank for. There shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. Now the website is around five months old, so it is still in the Google Sandbox. I do believe now the Google Sandbox is much longer than that but it is still definitely within that Google Sandbox. However, I've been keeping an eye on my Google Search Console for all the pages that have been indexed. And I saw a trending pattern, a negative decline of pages being indexed. Basically, the pages were being found and it found quite a lot of them and I was happy, but then slowly these pages and these blog posts have dropped out of the index. So Google has found them and decided not to index those posts for whatever reason. Now, normally what you see is a reverse of that. For four or five months, you see very little pages being indexed and slowly one by one, they start climbing and coming into your search console and you start seeing a trending pattern going upwards. Well, I was seeing a negative pattern. I was seeing it going down and dropping out. I was fearful actually, if it carried on, there literally would be no pages indexed. And we have over 350 blog posts on that website already in the first five months. So why it should be finding none of these posts was beyond me. Now I understand Google has a limited crawl budget for new websites. So basically what that means is if you're a brand new website, Google will not allocate a lot of resources to crawling and ranking and indexing your pages. Now I get that. As your website gets older and more established and more mature, Google will spend more time on your website because it's looking for new articles to put into the SERP index. Now that's fine and I understand that and I know you should always be patient. And four or five months is way too new to be worrying and having any negative thoughts. But from my experience of watching and dealing with Google indexing issues in the past, I knew that that steady decline was not right. That was not what you want to see. So I looked at all the options going to me. I could throw some backlinks at it, which I don't want to do. I want this website to be organic and natural. I could start sharing it on social media and try and get some interaction to let Google be aware that we are here and come and crawl my website. I could do better interlinking on the website, but that I was already doing. And I could even manually index each blog post as we publish it in Google Search Console. Just to remind Google, hey, we are here, please index this article. Well, that process tends to be fruitless. You tend to spend more time indexing them and it just tends to find them and then drop back out again if there is any long-term issues there. So that often doesn't work. So I spent the last few weeks really worrying and thinking what could be causing this? Now, I don't use any SEO plugins. I haven't used SEO plugins for a number of years for many reasons. There's a security risk involved with them. It's an extra plugin on your website. I don't feel you need. If you just have a normal information blog content, just submitting a sitemap to Google Search Console should 
be enough. Now I simply generate a simple sitemap and I submit it to Google Search Console. And that's the only thing I could think of that maybe there was something wrong with that sitemap. Maybe the sitemap that I generated didn't have the right information for Google to understand that the pages and posts were there and they need to be crawled. I am not very technical, I don't understand that and I'm not sure how I can prove that. But I just had an inkling that something wasn't right. So the website is now five months old and they decided to take that sitemap off and just simply upload a new sitemap to Google Search Console. And guess what? Instantly, within hours, I saw Google start to find the blog post. Suddenly that negative decline was ceased and it suddenly started to go in the right direction. Now, could that be a simple coincidence that I came out of the Google Sandbox right at the very time I changed that sitemap? I highly doubt it. We are talking within hours of me uploading a new sitemap, the improvements started to happen. Something had finally worked and maybe I've just averted a disaster of having a sitemap uploaded that was incorrect and negatively impacting my website. Now again, I can't prove that that sitemap was faulty because I don't really know how to dive into them and read them correctly. I'm not very technical that way, but it definitely something was wrong and it just it was just an experienced inclination that I had that something wasn't right and it seems like it has fixed the problem. Now I've been tracking my keywords through SERP Robot as well, a tool that I use to track some of the main keywords that I'm going after and you can see from the screenshot now a very dismal negative looking dashboard from SERP Robot after four and a half months and if you look at the screen now you can see instantly all those numbers turn to green after uploading a new sitemap. Now, like I said, that can't be a coincidence, that has to be a faulty sitemap. Because over the past seven to 10 days now, every single day I have seen an improvement. Every single day the numbers have gone green and I'm seeing more and more pages being indexed, which is exactly what we want to see at month five. Now I know we still only have around 40 or 50 blog posts in the top 100 being tracked by Cert Robot but each day more and more are jumping into that number. So fingers crossed, I think we fixed it. I will keep you informed if I have, but hopefully I've avoided a mega website disaster. And so for my YouTube channel shout out for this week, it is going to be Tortoise Cash Flow. You can see on the screen here, his YouTube channel. It has around 528 subscribers at the time of filming this. And I've been following his channel pretty much from day one. He's just like you and I, he is a guy in the trenches building blogs, building passive income and building his website portfolio. I love some of his videos and he has one of the best intros on YouTube. So go check his channel out, Tortoise Cash Flow. I think you'll like it. I certainly follow him and I think you should subscribe and go like some of his videos. Remember to leave a comment and let me know your favorite YouTube channel at the moment and it might get featured in my next video. But for now, thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.